Hi, Feature Channels. Thank you so much for inviting me here. And I just really appreciate the friendship and the kindness that, that you show to me. What's happening? My name is Teacher John Lucas, aka <laughs> I'm an online ESL teacher and the brand ambassador for Five One Talk. Hello, everyone. I am Algilin M. Guillermo, teacher angel of Native Camp. I'm actually a teacher by profession. I've been teaching for nine years, four years in a private school, and five years and counting in a public school. So I actually started working as an online teacher last, I mean, two years ago. Like I worked in another ESL company for seven months, and um, just last April 18, I started working here at the camp. Because um, we are having we are uh, we are in GCQ, ECQ, so I want to maximize my time as much as possible. Like I want to earn while staying at home, because. I ako makakapagbenta ng puto, leche plan, at kahit ano pa. So that's why I decided to to work again as an online teacher. And luckily, I was hired here at Native Camp. So, um, teacher Carol gave me these questions, and I will really try to answer these questions smartly. Or pag hindi naman smartly, dumbly na lang. So. Hello, everyone. This is Teacher Jane of Native Camp and Nanay Jane of my YouTube channel, Nanay Jane and the woman behind Nanaihood Facebook page. Hello guys, this is Teacher Carol again from the Cheerful Teacher channel and thank you for clicking this video again and you may be thinking of who are those teachers that you just saw earlier in this video. Well, I actually invited them for you guys because I love you all and I always want you to be motivated. So for today's video, it's a collaboration with Teacher Seti. Yeah, you can check her video and there's also a tutorial there on how or where you can have a TESOL and TEFL certificate. So check her video. Also, we have here Teacher Gemma from Akadzog. There, you can check her YouTube account as well, and don't forget to subscribe also with Teacher Seti. And who doesn't know this teacher? So we also have here that crazy fun teacher, Teacher John Lucas. I suggest guys you subscribe to his channel as well. You're gonna get a lot of stuff from, her, from him. And also guys, we also have here Teacher Angel from Native Camp. Yeah, so she's also one of our top tutors here at Native Camp. And we also don't forget to subscribe to her channel, okay? So she, she's a very good teacher as well, and you will learn a lot of things from her. And also, we have here our Nana Jane. There you go, guys. So don't forget to subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. And I invited all of them just for you guys. And actually, teacher Ada Jules from 5 1 Talk is supposed to be part of this video as well however um, she she was busy and <laughs> he doesn't have like voice but Osha this time so she was not able to make the video clip however she really wants to join um, and don't worry guys because after this video as well um, we will also have a tag teacher video so you can check all of their YouTube's account, YouTube accounts and they will be posting a tag teacher question from me as well so there alright so let's get this video started so let, let's get the main purpose of this video started so I invited them to answer just four or three questions that I have here to to give you some sort of motivation guys so I know if you are feeling demotivated right now well you must really watch this video okay okay and to officially start this sort of interview video so I have here the question so number one teachers please answer this what do you love about your job what I love 
love about being a home-based teacher is the convenience, flexibility at home, uh, time management as well. And uh, I have been uh, teaching English online for about uh, six years now. Uh, teaching is my passion, so I really love teaching English, especially pronunciation. Uh, what I love about my job, it, it, is, it, it gives me the reward or yeah, the, re the reward whenever I see my students improve their uh, English level. I actually love everything. Yes, I love the freedom that I that I get. I mean, when whenever I plot my own schedule and I can take day off any time, I think it's a, it's really a good thing. That's why I, that's why I love online teaching. And also, I love meeting new people every day. Yes, I love talking to them. I love to learn new culture. Yeah, from different countries, from different culture. I love it. I also love working at home. <laughs> yes, I also love staying at home and make some money. I even love wearing comfortable shirts when working. And I also love when my students learn from me and enjoy my company. Hmm. <laughs> I love this job because I love teaching, I love kids, and I also like to entertain people. So this is just perfect. What do I love about my job as an online teacher? So it's like um, I can teach or I can work at the comfort of my home. Like I don't need to worry about what I'm going to wear every day. Like polo shirt lang, short na pambahay, okay na, solve na. And I don't need to worry about transportation, traffic, and especially nowadays we're having this coronavirus pandemic. So I don't need to be to worry about being infected with coronavirus because I'm just here at home. And also like um, whenever I feel tired, like if I don't feel like I don't want, to, like I don't want to teach, I can just um, close the slots and have my rest. And also like um, parang hawa ko yung schedule dito. So yun yung maganda dito sa online teaching. What I love about my job, um, first is this is somehow a dream come true for me because since Mav came. Uh, I've always wanted to become a, a work-from-home mom. Yung talaga yung target ko. But since, um, syempre, madami pang bills, hindi pa namin kaya na uh, si tatay lang yung magtatrabaho. So, I think, um, somehow, naging dream can come to yung ESL because, yeah, I get to work from home. So, I have time for math and I have time to earn money as well. Second is, I get to, to do what I love because, Teaching is my first love and until now, I'm so happy that uh, I'm still doing it, especially to young children. And third is, I get to meet a lot of people. So it's, it's ironic na nasa loob lang ako ng bahay, but um, yung time na nagstay lang ako sa loob ng bahay, yun yung time na mas lumami at mas lumawak yung mundo ko. Because mas madami ako nakilalang tao at mas madami ako natutunan from the experiences also and um, stories of the people who are um, part of Native Camp and those who are my subscribers also. Wow, that's just the first question and I already learned a lot of things. How about you guys? Yeah, okay, take those answers and I hope you are motivated by now. But we still have more questions to answer. So, second question for you teachers is, what is the best thing you've experienced when you became an online English teacher? So, the best things that uh, I have experienced when I became an ESL teacher, I think it's the reward that I got. Because every time I, as I said, every time I see my students improve, it really makes me feel happy. I think the best thing that I've ever experienced in, as an ESL teacher is when my students and my manager value me. I mean, value the work that I, that I serve, value my service, and it's really priceless. It means a lot to me. I get more motivated. I am even more happy to do my job every day. So I think um, getting some appreciation from the people that you serve that is really great. 
The best experience is when I witness my students grow, from someone who cannot speak a single word of English to someone who can start a conversation with you. It's one of the best feelings in the world. So, um, I've been teaching or in two, um, my first company, my first ESL company um, was, um, I was teaching Chinese students. Uh, and this ESL company, Native Camp, I'm teaching Japanese students. So, yung best experience is like, um, I can also experience their culture. Hindi naman talaga, talaga may experience ko talaga. So, it's like I can experience their culture though we are just in this virtual world. Because sometimes, especially my Japanese students, they sometimes share about um, their culture. And another thing is that, um, yung the best talaga is yung I, I am able or I was able to teach those foreigner students who are from um, those first world countries just like Japan very progressive China very progressive right but Filipino teacher from a third world country or developing country and I'm teaching those um, Japanese and Chinese students so parang nakaka proud lang like um, something to be proud of to be a Filipino na na oh, nagtuturo ako sa mga Chinese students na ito so parang ganun parang ganun nakaka proud so, um, I think one of the best things that I have experienced is mm, discovering something from yourself. Yung ang dami mong discoveries na kayo mo palang gawin to. Because here in ESL teaching, um, iba't ibang tao yung makakasalumuha mo everyday. Unlike in a school setting na kapag grade 1 ka, syempre all throughout the year, grade 1 lang, grade 1 students lang yung mahahandal mo. But here in ESL teaching, pwede ngayon uh, 40 years old and then later 7 years old so alam mo yung um, madami kang nadidiscover sa sarili mo na kaya mo palang mag-adjust sa iba't ibang situations and kaya mo palang mag-handle ng iba't ibang tao so yun that's one thing that I think uh, yeah so it's the best thing that ever happened to me and then one thing you want to say to someone who wants to be an online ESL teacher one thing that I want to say is if you really love it, work for it, and take care of it. So, ang ESL teaching, I think, I, not just ESL teaching, but teaching itself, it really, really, really requires passion and commitment. So, lagi natin sinasabi na kapag teacher ka, kailangan committed ka, kailangan passionate ka, but it's real. So, kahit pa sa school setting or sa, ESL on, sa online ESL, um, you really you really have to commit yourself and to love what you are doing because um, yun lang yung yung magiging um, key para maging successful ka in online teaching kasi whatever happens um, may ma-meet ka mang root student maka-receive ka man ng low rating or magkaroon man ng aberya because you love what you are doing positive pa rin yung positive vibes ka pa din and you will always look at the bright, at the brighter side of everything when you are passionate and committed. Very well said. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, teachers. And this is going to be the last two questions that I have for you guys. So, um, what is one thing that you want to say to someone who wants to be an online English teacher? And why should they be an online English teacher just like us? For one thing that you need to uh, remember guys that always, always be patient. Patience and then passion. It goes together hand in hand. Because you know, if you don't have patience to teach, then you will not be able to succeed. And also, as well as passion. Uh, even though the salary you have with your company is very low but if you have passion uh, when it comes to teaching English online then you will go far uh, that's it I guess why should be an online ESL especially now when we have this pandemic guys I guess online ESL teacher is a very nice job for all uh, you will you can uh, work at the convenience of your at home Anytime you want. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, you should you should just.
just be passionate uh, when it comes to teaching English. And I think that's about it. Thank you. Thank Start now! Yeah, <laughs> it's a cliche, but there's no harm in trying. Just give it a shot. There are tons of reasons why you should be. <laughs> I can even give you a list for that. But um, just this thing. If you are actually considering or maybe you're actually looking for this job for quite a while now or like you're actually thinking about this job for quite a while now, so just give it a try. You don't know what will happen in the future. We don't know what will happen in the future. So just give it a shot, just like what I said earlier. And you know what, in my experience, I never thought that I would love teaching this much. I never thought that I was going to enjoy this job this much. So it wouldn't happen if I didn't try. So decide now and make an action. If you want a bit of flexibility with your work and personal schedule, spend more time with family, save some transportation money while having fun in the process, then being an online ESL teacher is for you. Um, nowadays, kasi parang pahirapan yung pagpasok sa mga ESL companies kasi uh, yun nga, we are in GCQ. So parang maraming uh, nagnanais na magkaroon ng work from home. So maraming nag-a-apply gaya dito kay Native Camp. Like, talagang fortunate lang talaga ako like thankful talaga ako kay Lord na like a uh, very easy lang yung process ko like it took only one day for me to be uh, to, to finish all the process kasi ngayon uh, nababasa ko sa page na parang nahihirapan yung ibang applicants like um, four days na three days na hindi pa rin sila nakater sa sa system check at saka sa demo at saka yung iba tapos na sila pero yung parang um account nila hindi pa na activate lag like, ilang araw na wala pa rin so ito lang masasabi ko like be patient because if you really want to have this job you really have that patience na very infinite like what kasi kapag magiging teacher ka you have to be really patient so yun lang kahit sa, sa application process pa lang dapat maging patient ka na and kapag andito ka na sa like na hire ka na um you you like you search you learn uh, mag, like maghanap ka ng ibang paraan para matuto ka to improve your um, yourself especially in teaching kasi um, especially kapag wala kang experience sa teaching even offline class kapag wala kang experience um, maybe you will have difficulty but huwag kang paghinaan ng loob kasi lahat naman ng bagay is matutunan naman talaga yan eh. like yung teaching Pwede naman yung matutunan eh. Unlike yung, yung singing talaga, yung dancing talaga, parang magiging innate talaga sa'yo na magaling kang sumayaw o kumanta. Pero dito sa teaching, mag-aral ka lang, pag-aralan mo lang yung mga lessons dito, for sure, um, you will master this craft or this job. And it takes time. Hindi yung first month mo pa lang, first week mo lang, expected mo na na parang bibigyan ka na ng 5 stars ni students. Um, especially kapag newbie ka, um, it's like you accept also like let's say kapag bibigyan ka ni students ng um, low rating huwag kang panghinaan ng loob instead you make it as an inspiration to improve yourself so yun lang if if you think that you are good in speaking English if uh, you think if if you have those gadgets needed to sa online teaching like what I said a while ago computer internet connection headphone then be one of us kasi um i tell you napakaganda dito like um, especially kapag um, you will work hard um yung company talaga magbibigay sa iyo ng mga incentives na for sure um masasayahan ka so so i guess yun lang and thank you so much for for listening for watching this video and of course, thank you so much, Teacher Carol, because it's like um, you're helping me to like to grow my to, to grow my channel. And daghang salamat to guy teacher because you know what? I really appreciate. I really felt like um, happy whenever um, yung isang tao tumutulong sa akin. Tal talaga na na nakakataba ng puso yan. So that's why, as much as possible, also I would like also to help other people, especially yung mga nangangapadito sa online teaching. 
So, yun lang guys. Again, thank you so much and dagang salamat and please, um, you also visit my YouTube channel, Aljeline Guillermo. So, once again, thank you so much. Goodbye! Why should you be an online ESL teacher? I think the very first reason is you will get to earn money and work from home at the comfort of your home. So, kung ano man yung suot mo, kung ano man itsura ng bahay mo, pwede ka pa rin kumita kahit nasa loob ka lang ng bahay, especially these days na I think online is a new normal. Especially that it's not yet safe to go outside and to travel or to commute and going to your office. This online ESL teaching is one of the best options most especially for mothers like me. If you are a full-time mom or dreaming of becoming a full-time mom and still you want to earn, you can be an online ESL teacher. Just wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but you may be wondering what's this, guys. So this is, um, how do I say it? I, I use it for my lips. I spread the lip, lip tint on my lips and I use my finger for that so never mind that guys but um, I hope you were motivated after watching this video is that this video that's actually the main goal of creating this video and I do suggest guys that you subscribe to their channel yeah subscribe to their channel because you will learn a lot of things so um, yeah it's it's really for you guys so I, I I thought about making that video to have some sort of um, um, something wherein you will be motivated as well. And um, we are from different companies, and there's just one thing that I noticed with their answer. So if you do things out of love and out of joy, and you you really try to look for for the good side of the the company where you are right now and not not always looking at those negative things that you are seeing so you'd probably be really happy in the company where you are right now so that's just it um, I think it really depends on the person so kung saan ka magiging masaya kung saan yung feeling ng good girl pa so Go there. So if you, if you think the company where you are right now is like a burden to you, then why not why not look for another company? Or if you are in a job where it, it's like, um, all you can say is toxic, as they say. So try to look for a job where in you will really enjoy and you will feel like you're not working at all. So that's just my suggestion. And for me, ESL teaching, online ESL teaching is also one of the best job that I have right now or that I that I ever had. So yun lang guys and okay don't forget as well as to subscribe to my channel for more motivational videos, more tips on ESL teaching and business and motherhood and all of those so we will try to post more tutorials as well for you guys so let's learn together let's grow together and i hope to see you again on my next video so if you have suggestion comments on what videos we should do next so comment it down below okay thank you so much for always supporting the cheerful teacher channel and i see you guys on my next video